All right, this is my crew. I've been building them up for years. These two on the left are my hardware engineers. They help me with the painting, the gluing, the cutting, and the wiring. And these two on the right are the software engineers programming the phone. All right, guys, say your names. Corey? Corey, you just said it. Ah, uh, sorry. My name's Imani. My name's Taryn. My name's Ethan. All right. Um, this crew is committed to staying with me for at least the next five years. But it was actually born another way, E-T-A. Yes, that's true. They were born backwards. We made an autonomous solar robot boat. Because it has four floats and is nearly five feet long, we call it the Quadran 5. We programmed the Android phone on the front to talk to a Bluetooth relay controller, then in turn makes two motors go on and off. By using just one motor at a time, it can turn. The solar panel is 50 watts. The motors are 7 watts each, so it can go all day. The battery won't last all night, but there's a water break that digs in down into the water and makes for a very slow drift speed whenever the motors are off. Over the years, we have built and tested many models to evaluate different ideas for solar-powered living on the ocean. We feel the current design makes for a comfortable and safe platform and is well worth pursuing to larger sizes. It's much more stable than a boat of comparable weight. To a first approximation, the cost of a boat is proportional to the weight. The value of a home is proportional to the square footage. Our design results in lots of square footage for a given weight. The other great thing about the quadmaran design is that several can be connected together to form a train on the ocean. The joint is much like a trailer hitch, with the addition of elastic connections on each side to keep the train roughly lined up. We like to keep scaling up this design by a factor of two each time. The next size, the quadmaran 10, will be large enough to pull a kayak. The use of a quadmaran and kayak is one of the rewards. The quadmaran 20 would hold a few people. Several could be linked together to hold many people. The Quadran 40 would be big enough for a small family to live on. A large family could buy two and connect them together. The Quadran 80 would be a comfortable home. Several of these connected together could form a little floating community, maybe while crossing an ocean or developing some project. Right now, we would like your help to put electronics on a second Quadran 5 and to build two Quadran 10s to pull kayaks across the ocean on their own. After we finish the Quadmaran 10s, we'll be back to talk to you about funding the Quadmaran 20s. Or maybe that becomes a stretch goal now. Thanks.